on the pleasures of no longer being very young by gk chesterton this is part third of the presentation this essay has been taken from all is grist by gk chesterton written in 1931 all is grist means anything that can be turned to profit or advantage another paradox is this paradox is the seeming absurd or self contradictory statement that is or may be true an opinion that conflicts with common belief that it is not the young people who realize the new world another paradox is this that it is not the young people who realize the new world the moderns do not realize modernity modernity is of involving or befitting the present or a recent time contemporary they have never known anything else they have stepped on to a moving platform which they hardly know to be moving as a man cannot feel the daily movement of the earth but he would feel it sharp enough if the earth suddenly moved the other way the older generation consists of those who do remember a time when the world moved the other way they do feel sharply and clearly the epoch which is beginning for they were there before it began epoch is a point in time beginning a new or distinctive period or a long period of time marked by some predominant characteristic an era it is one of the artistic advantages of the aged that they do see the new things relieved sharply against a background their shape definite and distinct artistic a person is skilled in some task or occupation relieved is to bring into relief or prominence as by contrast sharply clearly defined background a person's education or experience the circumstances that lead up to or help to explain something the part of a scene for this from a viewer distinct is sharp clear recognizable definite or explicit so the old have the advantages of seeing new things distinctly against a background to the young these new things are often themselves the background and are hardly seen at all hence even the most intelligent of innovators is often strangely mistaken about the nature of innovation and the things that are really new innovation is something newly introduced such as a new method or device innovator is to invent or begin to apply methods ideas etc strangely odd unusual not known or experienced before mistaken is wrong in opinion or judgment so the new innovators or the young people are often mistaken they judge wrongly about the nature of innovation the judge is uh, strangely oddly 
the new innovation and the things are blurred in their minds instead of seeing them distinctly. And the oldest inhabitant will often indulge in a senile chuckle as he listens to the village orator proclaiming that the village church will soon be swept away and replaced by a factory for chemicals. An inhabitant is a person who is a permanent resident of a particular place or region, indulges to allow oneself the pleasure of. Senile is of or characteristic of old age. Chuckle is to laugh softly or to oneself. A partly suppressed laugh. Orator is a person given to lengthy and pompous speeches. Proclaiming is to announce publicly. Swept is to clear or abolish. So an old person will laugh pleasurely when it will be proclaimed that the village church will be abolished and it will be replaced by a factory for chemicals. For the oldest inhabitant knows very well that nobody went to church in the days of his childhood except out of snobbishness. Snobbishness, a person who strives to associate with those of higher social status and who behaves condescendingly to others, and that it is in his old age that the church has begun once more to be thronged with believers. Thronged is a great number of people or things crowded together. Believers to have religious faith. In my capacity of oldest inhabitant, with senile chuckle, I will give one instance of a kindred kind. Kindred is having similar or common qualities, origin, etc. A man must be at least as old as I am in order to remember how utterly idiotic, inconceivable, and crazily incredible. It once seemed that any educated or even reasonably shrewd person should confess that he believed in ghosts. Utterly is complete, total, unqualified. Idiotic is foolish, senseless. Inconceivable is incapable of being conceived, imagined or being considered. Crazily is fantastic, strange or ridiculous. Incredible is beyond belief or understanding. Unbelievable, amazing. Reasonably is having modest or moderate expectations. Shrewd is artful, sagacious, sensible, discriminating or crafty. Ghosts are soul of a dead person appearing to living an apparition. A person should be old enough to admit that it is foolishness and beyond belief or understanding to confess that he believes in ghosts. You must be nearly the oldest inhabitant to know with what solid scorn and certainty the squire and the parson denied 
the possibility of the village ghost the parson even more emphatically than the squire solid is firm well grounded real or genuine is corn is to hold in contempt despise consider unworthy or beneath notice disdain or derision squire is the country gentleman especially chief landed proprietor in the district parson is any clergyman rector vicar or any clergyman emphatically is forcibly expressive expressing expressing himself with emphasis when one is old enough he will find that the parson the clergyman denied the possibility of a ghost more emphatically than the squire the country gentleman with a solid scorn the village ghost was instantly traced to the village drunkard or the village liar educated people knew that the dead do not return in the world of sense sense is the ability to perceive those who remember those times and have lived to see a man of science like sir oliver lodge founding quite a fashionable religion are amused to hear a young man say the world is moving away from the supernatural sir oliver lodge who lived from 1851 to 1940 was a famous british scientist late in his life he became interested in parapsychology spirits and other occult matters parapsychology is the study of mental phenomena such as telepathy which are beyond the scope of normal physical explanation occult is of or characteristic of mystical or supernatural phenomena or influences beyond ordinary human understanding sir oliver lodge was one of the pioneers of wireless telegraphy and of atomic study after the death of his son raymond he became a leading advocate of the reality of the spiritual world and published a number of books on spiritualism founding is to set up establish originate or initiate supernatural is manifesting some agency above the forces of nature those who have seen a scientist like sir oliver lodge are amused to hear a young man say that the world is moving away from the supernatural they know in what direction it has really moved 